Welcome to the Hoosier Crane Help Center. In this video we are going to show you how to install the C-Tracks onto your crane. The first step is to measure out the placement of the support arms. To begin, measure 18 inches from the outside of each end truck and place a support arm. Between these two support arms you need to place all of your remaining support arms equal distances from each other with a maximum of 5 feet apart. The length of your crane will determine how many support arms you received. The support arms then need to be pushed toward the motor side of your hoist and should have a clearance of at least 10 inches between the end of the support arms and the hoist. But make sure they do not lie past the ends of the end trucks. Your support arms are now ready to be clamped down. Slide the beam mounting clips to the flange of the girder on each side of the support arms and before tightening, make sure the support arms are square with the girder. Once they are square, tighten them securely. Next, we are going to insert the C-Track support brackets onto the support arms. There are three brackets per support arm. One goes on the inside next to the girder and the other two stay on the outside. After all the brackets are attached to the support arms, you can now grab your first C-Track. This C-Track will be for the hoist motor conduit. Depending on the length of your crane, you may need a coupler to extend your C-Track. Lay out your hoist motor conduit for installation and then feed it into your C-Track. Once the conduit is correctly inside, then attach the C-Track into the inside brackets on the support arms. When done, securely tighten the brackets. Next, we are going to plug the hoist motor conduit into the bridge traveling machinery. It may be necessary to rotate the head of the bridge traveling machinery to better accommodate the conduit. To plug the conduit in, first attach a rubber gasket to the rim of the connector. Then simply plug it in and tighten the screws to secure it. Next, take the heat shrink sleeve on the conduit and secure it to the C-Track. Take a heat gun and completely shrink the whole sleeve to secure it in place. This sleeve secures the festoon cable. Now we will install the power and control C-Track and the pendant trolley C-Track. Attach the C-Tracks into the correct brackets on the support arms. Once the outer C-Track is in place, tightly screw the brackets. Make sure the bracket is flush with the edge of the support arms. To determine the placement of the middle C-Track, measure out from center to center at least 6 inches away from the outermost C-Track and then tighten the brackets. Once again, you may need a coupler joint to lengthen your C-Tracks. Ensure that all the brackets are securely tightened and saw off any excess C-Track at the end. You should also saw off the ends of the support arms on the drum side of the hoist. It is very easy and dangerous to run into these arms when working on the hoist. Your C-Tracks are now properly installed on your crane and in our next video we will show you how to install the crane's festooning.